There's a reason I took a picture of that. I wasn't trying to take a picture of my boobs. I was just trying to get across what was on my shirt. Oh my goodness. What am I gonna do with myself? Hey guys, it's Blaze, and I'm back again. I just shot my third Shop Miss A haul video about four hours ago, or five hours ago, something like that. Um, <laughs> and I know I say in every single video that I do, I just wanna put this in this video first because this is not what this video is about, but I do, you know you if you've watched my videos I do say anything nasty or you know negative in like a really horrible way will be reported any kind of comments like that I blocked her right away but um, I wrote down exactly what she said in this video and I wrote down how she spelled it bitch with no I Sav, I'm assuming she meant save. Your mini and buy Mac and a face lift. And that is how she spelled everything. I didn't even bother with the response because I could have tore this idiot to pieces. But that's a waste of my time and my health and my energy that I gotta focus on getting well again. And say this again before I do what this video is actually intended for. Um, I have purchased very expensive makeup brands before. And I have found that a lot of the cheaper makeup brands that I tend to stick with actually work just as well or sometimes even better than the expensive products that I have owned. I own a blush by Santi that I have almost the exact same color from Estee Lauder and it works a billion times better than the Estee Lauder one. So um, plus and um, I would love to purchase much more expensive makeup um, you know the quant quality not quantity kind of thing but I have at least five chronic pain conditions and a lot of other things that need my money needs to go towards I don't have money left and right to throw out on makeup I'd love to do it because it's my passion but I don't have the money so I can't do it. So I don't, I'm not ashamed to be a beauty on a budget. I'm not ashamed that um, I'm not purchasing, you know, better, better and more expensive quality makeup. If I like my cheap makeup, that's what I'm gonna stick with because I can afford it and it makes me just as happy. So for me, I guess it's quality, not quantity, but, or quantity, not quality. I don't know. I am so freaking tired. But like I said, um, girls like this, it's just like a facelift. What, what does she want me to have no expression on my face whatsoever? I mean, I know I'm not the prettiest person in the world, but um, your personality makes you one of the ugliest. So just getting that out of the way before we start my video. So this is my t about me tag video that I am doing, one of them. Um, it's a random one that a, it was actually requested that I do this one. She sent this to me. It was a girl, I don't remember her YouTube name. It was like girly girl 80 something or something like that. And she just sent me a screenshot of 24 questions. I haven't read all of the questions yet. I can tell you some of these questions are going to be a little difficult for me to answer because um, there's not just like one answer to it. So I'm going to try to go as fast as I can and hopefully we'll make this fun 
and this is more real a really a relaxing video my sister and mother are in her room laughing their asses off at what and they're watching always sunny in Philadelphia which is our show to watch and I'm crippled so I can't go to the bathroom without I'm not gonna go into detail because I don't some people are squeamish so I, I get that without further ado let's get started question number one what is your full name unfortunately this question I am not gonna answer truthfully because there are people out there who um, I do not want them knowing that I'm out there and I do not want them knowing my location or anything about me um, I have people from my past um, uh, sorry, I, there, I, I just am not comfortable giving my full name. I know I've said my real name, my real first name on here before, so I guess I'll just say my fur, my real first name. My real first name is Kaylee, K-A-Y-L-E-E. -E. So that's the best you're going to get with question number one. That's, that's my real name. C. Question number two, what is your zodiac sign? I am a Leo. I was born on August 13th on Friday the 13th. My mom says that's why that day is bad luck. <laughs> but yeah, so I am a very proud Leo and I'm a Leo to the definition of what a Leo is. I mean, everything you hear about Leos, that, that, that's me. It's, it's true and I have all the attributes of a Leo. So, yeah, I was definitely born a Leo. My hair is so thirsty. So thirsty. Okay, number three, who is your best friend? Okay, um, I have to answer with two because, um, well, actually three. My best male friend is Josh Pulowski, um, who will forever be my best friend. I mean, my family's pretty much adopted him and they're in love with him. And he started out as my boyfriend and then we became best friends and he's like my brother now. So, or not really my brother, but we're family. Uh, I, I guess you can call him my brother. I've called him my brother, but it, it is a little awkward after you've dated someone to then call them your brother. So, um, but my family loves him. You know, he loves my family. Josh Polofsky is my best male friend. My best female friend, I've never actually met in real life, but she is my kindred spirit. And I've been friends with her for like 10 years now. And her name is Lori Vukovic. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your last name correctly because I am so bad at that kind of thing. But Lori is my best female friend. She is like my twin. She, she and I have so much more in common and I believe we were actually and so does she. We, we kind of believe we actually were best friends or related or something in a former life. And my best friend overall is, I know people are going to be like, oh, that's so pathetic. She's like an adult. But my best friend overall is my mother. She's the only person I trust 100% that, that I know I can trust with anything. She knows me better than I know myself. She is the most and I know people are gonna say she's biased because she's her mother which I guess would be correct but I worship her she is my idol she is my everything she is my best friend she is my mother she is my doctor she's my teacher just everything we I we have so much more in common and I'm gonna go on a different subject with a different video entitled I'm psychic question mark where I'm gonna go more into detail about that. But um, yeah, so overall my mother is my best friend, but for people who are not related by blood, um, Josh and Lori, they're my best friends. Okay, let's see, number four. How do you feel right now? I feel like somebody has been jamming a chainsaw through my tailbone for the past two weeks. Um, with my skin disease, 
my hydrogenitis suppurativa, which I have videos where I talk about that, and I will link the videos up for those down below, or you can just go and check them out right now if you're interested. Um, it's, it's very embarrassing, and I'm not going to go into full detail, but it has been like a CSI crime scene in my bathroom two to three times a day because I, um, I'm gushing blood from my tailbone and I can't sit or move without it ripping open more. So um, it's actually one year to the day where I had my two surgeries less than eight hours apart on my tailbone. And the second doctor, the second surgeon, um, was a prick and was a kook and he messed up on the incision and when I had problems after it and we tried contacting his office about it, um, he said he wanted nothing to do with, he wasn't going to see me anymore, it wasn't his fault, and they actually stopped receiving our phone calls. So I feel I've been having a fever, um, it's that, it's shark week, only my females will get that. So. I feel really, really physically exhausted, in agony, and very unwell, but doing these videos really does help, and it puts me in a better mood, and seeing people view my videos, and like my videos, and subscribe, which you should do right friggin' now, it, it really, I do these videos for a purpose for you guys and for myself but it does bring a smile to my ugly face <laughs> that I don't like showing um, to see that people are actually viewing this so that makes me happy so I'm happy but also dying inside <laughs> okay next question number five what is you what is your current relationship status? I like to, and it says on my Facebook, think of myself as a two-time widow. widow. Um, my fiance, my fiance passed away almost eight years ago. And the love of my life passed away this past September, both very tragically and very suddenly, and I'm not going into details about any of that. Um, I will not go into any details about that, but um, I kind of feel like I, I should probably never fall in love again. Um, I feel very guilty. I feel like the kiss of death. I've been, I've been called because every man that I have fallen in love with so far has passed away and in a very, very traumatic way. Like it wasn't because they were, you know, dying for a while. It, it happened like, like that. And, um, so I'm single and I intend to stay that way for a very, very long time. And I highly, highly doubt I will ever fall in love again. And... I'm afraid to fall in love again because I'm afraid that if I fall in love again, that person's gonna die. So, um, that's my status at the moment. Okay, let's see. The next question, number six. What is your favorite movie and or movies? Um, I do not have that much time in this video. Uh, I'm, a I'm the horror movie whore. Um, so, I'm just gonna go through a few. All of Rob Zombie's movies, um, The Ring, um, oh, I, Trick or Treat, um, as you can see, Sam, um, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original, um, Oh my god, there are just, there's hundreds, there's a slew of, 
there's a battalion of freaking movies that <laughs> I love, but that's from horror. I love dramas. I love period dramas. I love, love period dramas. I love comedies. I love um, documentaries, even. Um, like, they did a documentary that's half documentary and half kind of movie, uh, Soaked in Bleach, which they just recently came out with this past year, um, is the documentary on Kurt Cobain. So, um, which I've seen all the documentaries on Kurt Cobain, but um, this was a great one, and it's on Netflix, and I actually own it on DVD. Um, my mother got it for me for my sister's birthday. <laughs> Sounds weird. But, um, yeah. So, I would absolutely, if you are a Nirvana or Kurt Cobain fan, to absolutely check that out. It's a great, great flick. Um, Grandma's Boy, Monty Python, all Monty Python movies. Oh my goodness. The Dead Girl is, that's not a comedy, but This is the End is one of my favorites. Um, I have my comfort movies, which is also another vi whole video that I did, um, which I guess I can put in the, li the link in the description box below as well if you're interested. There's just so, so many that I, I, I can't, I, the craft, I, I can't list them all. You know, it, it's not possible because we'd be here for at least 10 hours. So. I, I would show you like all my DVDs, <laughs> but again, I don't have the time for that. Okay, next question. Come on, let's make this uh, better. Number seven, how tall are you? Easy, I'm 5'4". That's it, I'm five, 5 feet 4 inches. Number eight, what is your favorite song and or songs? This is just like the movies. Okay. Um. I, I have no idea where to start. I can name, I guess, my favorite, top favorite bands, I guess, or and or singers, artists, whatever. Nine Inch Nails, Rob Zombie, Marilyn Manson, In This Moment, uh, Pink Floyd, The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, um, Pantera, Metallica, The Sex Pistols, there's so freaking many, and, but songs individually, um, I have songs that I love that are my favorite to different types of emotions depending on what I'm feeling in that moment. If I'm feeling depressed and I'm listening to a song, that will be my favorite song for the moment. And if I'm happy or dancing or doing whatever, that will be my favorite song at that moment. So. I'm a huge heavy metal fan, huge rock fan, classic rock, alternative, uh, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, whole, you know, Soundgarden. I mean, there's just, there's so many. Um, and the classical music, I love classical music. I love Mozart. I like some of Beethoven. Um, hmm. I just, Drew a blank in my head, but um, yeah, I, I can't pick a favorite song. Uh, Green Sleeves is one of my favorite songs ever, and it's got now um, sentimental meaning for me as well. So there's just I, I can't I can't pick a favorite song. There's just way 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 too many of songs that are my favorite songs. By the way, I was showing my shirt that says blah, blah, blah because of what that bitch said. Blah, blah, blah. And I love this shirt. It's like the only pink shirt that I like, that this color pink that I was like, I love that shirt. I gotta have it. All right. Next question. Number nine. Three things you love. Um, I'm not going to, in. I'm not going to put people in there because that's obvious. Um, television, which includes movies, television shows, anything to do with television. Um, my phone and makeup. 
I can't go into more detail or else we'll be here forever. Okay, let's see. Number 10, what are th three things, why would you ask me this? What are three things that upset you? Death, I, I do not handle death well at all. Um, I don't do well with it, obviously, because of my experiences with it. Um, things that upset me. Um, when someone upsets or hurts my mother or my family in general, I should say. Ow. Um, like my sister. Anything, when they're upset, I'm upset. Um, and animal abuse upsets me a lot. And uh, I wish some of those MFers would do a lot of jail time. I think they should do just as much jail time as anybody who would abuse or kill a person. So those are three random things that really upset me. Okay, let's look now. Number 11. What are three things that make you happy? Okay. Um, when my mother and I are together spending time, makes me happy. Um, shopping makes me very, very happy. And making YouTube videos makes me very happy. So, there you go. Okay. See, let's try to go a little faster. Number 12, what is your favorite food? That varies. <laughs> right now, and most of the time, it's potatoes, either mashed or baked. Potatoes I love. I've, since I was a baby, like I think my first word was pickle because I am obsessed with pickles. Uh, I love pickles so friggin' much. Um, I like, I, I love food in general. I love hamburgers, I love onions, like onion rings, that kind of stuff. Um, I like cucumbers, which are pretty much pickles, just they're not pickled. <laughs> um, pizza, East Coast pizza, West Coast pizza is not really that great what we have out here. So um, I miss East Coast pizza a lot. So. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of favorite foods because I'm addicted to food, so food in general. I love food. <laughs> okay, let's see. Number 13, who is your celebrity crush or crushes? Again, I don't have time to list all of them. <laughs> Dean Ambrose, Jeff Hardy, Francois Arnaud. Um, there's so freaking many of them. Uh, Jenna Dewan Tatum. Yeah, I actually love her and I don't like her husband. So you got a problem with that. I don't care. Um, oh my God. Uh, Mila Kunis, Natalie Portman. Um, Chris Cornell, my mom will kill me if I say Eddie Vedder because he's hers, so I can't say Eddie Vedder. Um, Alexander Skarsgård, um, Stephen Moyer, there's so, oh my goodness, uh, Kit Harrington, Crick. Kit Harrington, his name is John Snow, okay? Um, I, I, I really honestly, um, Jason Momoa, I can't keep going on because there's just way too many of them. You get the gist of it, I guess. Okay, let's see. Number 14, how many tattoos slash piercings do you have? This is a good one because I was actually requested to do an updated tattoo video. Um, 
even though it wouldn't be updated because I haven't gotten one since that video, but I am getting one um, very, very soon for an in memory tattoo for Michael. I currently have five tattoos, um, all which have personal meaning. I don't get anything on my body that is not have sentimental or personal meaning. So, and I have 10 ear piercings and a gauged eyebrow ring, which I gauged when I first got it when I was 18, so almost 10 years ago. Um, this is actually a belly button, a navel ring. Uh, and my first two holes are actually stretched. Um, I'm not entirely sure what number they are stretched to. Um, all I know is for the first first one here, I can fit three navel rings in, and the second ones I can fit two with no problem. So I guess I mean I'm going to be getting um, an industrial at some point, um, and I don't know. That's it so far, but I'm soon, soon to come will be my in memory tattoo for Michael because I do have one for Corey, who, as everybody knows, was my fiance who passed away. <laughs> and I'm only showing this because it, has, it is right here. And it says afterwards in the heart kind of fading so um, that's a personal thing but another visible one you can see right here is just a really creative way to draw the symbol for Leo's um, there's one back here on my shoulder blade that is a very very nice colorful um, symbol of the triple moon for goddess in paganism oh! um, I showed earlier in my video one of my tattoos. This is the first tattoo I ever got. And I just, I did what most people do and just look at the walls and pick something random. So I picked the rose because I love roses and it has like a stone heart that has a number 13 because the number 13 is my birthday and my lucky number. And I have a really, really, really shitty start to my leopard print tattoo on my shoulder. Um, that I really wish I went to somebody else to get because it came out really, really bad. So I got to get that fixed. But on my arm right here is where Michael's tattoo is going to be. And I'm doing, I've been waiting over six years to get my tattoo for Edgar Allan Poe and my writing in general, my Nevermore tattoo on this arm. So yeah, but so far five tattoos my ears and this. I had my belly button pierced, but my body rejected it um, when I was 18. It just not, it just naturally rejected the piercing. So, um, and I also illegally, when I was 16, got my septum pierced. But as soon as my parents found out, uh, that was a story we're not gonna get into. Let's just say they, they were not happy and it did not stay in very long. <laughs> like it, it was in there for about four hours, so. Okay, let's see. Um, number 15, what are your turn-ons? Um, intelligence is a big turn-on. Bravery, loyalty, personality, sense of humor, eyes, I love beautiful eyes, um, understanding, um, hair. I love hair. I love hair. Um, hmm. I like a guy who can challenge me, but see, I like a guy who is the stronger one in the relationship. And I'm the smarter one in the relationship. That's usually how my relationships have gone <laughs> along those lines. I'm not saying any except someone I'm not going to mention 
the guys that I've been in love with, none of them were stupid. It's just, you know, I have, but you know, that kind of thing. Um, with me, personality and the way that somebody is, their, the way they hold themselves, the way they carry themselves, the way they speak, that in itself brings out more physically attractive features, if that makes any sense. So with all the crushes like that I just mentioned on famous people that I have, most of the guys I've dated were on the heavier side and most people would look at them and be like, why do you think that they're so good looking? It's because, first of all, they're handsome as hell. Second of all, it was who they were that made them so freaking beautiful to me. So yeah, good smelling breath, hygiene, great hygiene is always a turn on. Um, that's, you know, pretty much it. Number 16, what are your turn offs? Um, bad hygiene, um, being controlling, um, being overly jealous, being not so smart, <laughs> um, being small minded um, or closed minded, whatever. Um, ignorance um and drama those are turnoffs for me i guess number 17 scary movies or happy endings sounds really dirty <sighs> everything sounds dirty to me i'm sorry um obviously scary movies first of all there's no such thing as happy endings and if you believe that there is, I'm, I'm jealous of you because uh, ignorance is bliss. But uh, yeah, scary movies, obviously. The horror movie horror. Horror movies, scary movies. Oh. Number 18, computer or television? Oh, that's a difficult one. I'm gonna go with computer only because you can watch television on your computer if you have Netflix or if your computer has a DVD drive, you know, whatever. So I'll pick computer because it can be both TV and a computer, so. Number 19, your favorite perfume. I don't have a favorite perfume because to be honest, I don't wear perfume. I wear scents, but I do not wear perfume. I don't like the way any perfume smells. I like wearing all natural scents like almond or vanilla that kind of thing, or sweets, you know, strawberries, that kind of thing. Um, also, with my skin condition, it's not very smart to wear perfume. So, um, yeah, I like natural scents, not perfumes. Number 20, when was the last time you cried? Time is it? About seven hours ago. No. Five hours ago. I'm a crier and like I said um, I'm not doing well. I I'm really very very unwell at the moment so um, I can't help but cry when it's that painful. Tears come out. I'm sorry. Just can't help it. Almost done I promise. Number 21. Can you cook? Yes. I can cook pretty well actually. Um, I think I can bake more I think I baking I'm better at maybe but cooking I can absolutely do um, if you give me the instructions and the ingredients I can do it absolutely so yes I can cook number 22 do you speak any other languages if so which ones I I can speak some old English um, I know some German slash Yiddish because Yiddish and German are pretty much the same thing. Um, so I know a lot of German, I know a lot of Yiddish, I know some Spanish, I know a little bit of French. I mean, I took French for two years, but I never paid attention in that class. So like, I know very little French. Um, I know very little Latin. 
but I'm not fluent in any other foreign language that's not English. So, I know a little bit of a few different ones, mostly German and Yiddish. So, Mazel Tov, that's Hebrew. I guess I know a little bit of Hebrew as well. <laughs> okay, number 23, do you miss anyone right now? Was this girl like trying to put me in a bad mood? This was supposed to put me in a better mood, okay? Yes, I miss several people right now, a whole lot. Most of which are dead or live across the country. So yes, I miss quite a few people right now. Number 24, what is your favorite TV show? Again, I can't pick just one, but my tops would be True Blood, I guess is my favorite show of all time. True Blood, The Tudors, The Borgias, um, Game of Thrones, um, The Big Bang Theory, um, Dexter, Monty Python's Flying Circus, um, I know there's probably a few I'm not thinking of. Oh, American Horror Story, duh. Um, how could I forget that? I guess, yeah, Evan Peters, Evan, Pe it is like five in the morning. So if I'm not speaking correctly, I'm sorry. Evan Peters is also a uh, celebrity crush and I hope him and Emma don't go through with it. I hate that bitch so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are my top favorite TV shows. And last but not least, number 25, what do you want to be when you get older or what do you want to do with your life? I'm 27 currently as this video is being made. So um, since I was a child, I always wanted to be in the profession of either uh, being a writer, which I am a writer, um, a nine-time award-winning poet and published. Um, so I've always wanted to be a writer. I always wanted to be some kind of therapist, which I pretty much, if you ask any of my friends, they're like, yeah, she's my psychiatrist or my psychologist. She's my therapist. She's the person I go to to talk to and gives me advice, but you know, I never take it. But <laughs> um, art artist, and I love putting those two together. So an art therapist was always another dream of mine to, to become. Um, I hope to one day become more of a beauty guru, which I'm obviously, obviously not at the moment. <laughs> um, but most of all, I just want to be happy and healthy for the rest of my life. That's it. I just want to be happy and healthy and um, even if I can't achieve what I want to be when I grow up, I'm already growing up, but um, just I just want to be happy and healthy and that's all that matters, me and my family being happy and healthy. That's all that matters to me. That is the end of this video now, which was the ask me tag with Blaze, which is me, which you found out my real first name, don't really care. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, anything nasty or not spelled correctly but still meant to be an insult will be reported or you'll be blocked, whatever. I mean, I hate internet trolls. Am I the only person who hates internet trolls who, you know, they just, they, they, they sit at home all day in their mother's basement just every day so <laughs> and they just want to be mean because they hate their lives I I hate my life and I'm not mean to people so I'm honest but I'm not mean to people um, especially people like I've never met or spoken to um, and if you have any requests I'm always taking requests on here follow me on my Instagram page it's dot blaze I will leave that right now and I will also leave that in my description box so until next time stay wicked and I love my blazers I love you guys you guys are what's keeping me going so let's get more subscribers and uh, 
if you guys have any more frequently asked questions, I have a few that have been gathering. If you have anything you'd like to ask and want me to add that to my FAQ with Blaze, which is a different video I'm going to do, let me know then. So, like I said, till next time, throw your guns up and stay wicked.